Okay, so I am about to do a mirror flip on my Honda Rebel 500 and to do that I have uh, bought these fittings from uh, from AliExpress or which I can't even remember. Those These should uh, fit the uh, handlebar on the Honda Rebel being this being a 1 inch and this being a 10 millimeter um, metric. So I'm about to use these for a mirror flip which means these will be facing downwards like this on the handlebar and the uh, and the stock mirrors on the uh, Rebel will be uh, will be fitted into these. So let's go ahead. So on the handlebar, I think I will put them here between the brake fluid reservoir and the uh, and the uh, handle, and on the other side uh, as well here. I think if I put them on the other side of uh, these, the mirrors will be too far uh, to the center of the bike. So. Uh, that's how I'll do it. That means that I have to move this and I have to move this. So here goes. Okay, first off, I need to be unmounting the, the mirrors. This is a 14 millimeter and this is a 14 millimeter as well. So will fit or not. It will. It fits. Perfect. Not all the way through though, but that's close enough. Yeah. This is a more tight fit. I am pretty sure that uh, on one of the mirrors this is a left-handed thread where on the other it's a uh, it's a normal thread so pretty sure that might come in come in relevant when I need to uh, to tighten these to the uh, to the new brackets okay In order for me not to scratch this uh, part with the uh, with the Chinese fitting bracket, I will be putting on some uh, electrical tape uh, here, just as a precaution not to to scratch up the, uh, the bike. So if I decide to to take it back someday, which I might, depending on the quality, but for now I will just do what I can to to protect the the stock handlebar, so here goes nothing. <laughs> that was precise. Coincidence, I guarantee it. And the bracket, those are uh, eight mil bolts. So, let me just grab my 
my eight mil socket here. And we'll, we'll loosely, loosely fit these, making sure that the, the gap is, is even. So I think, I think that will do right there. I'll wait, I'll wait with uh, tidying this up until I, I know for sure that this is, uh, this is the position that I want. So for now, this will do, and I will go on and do the same on the opposite side. So I think that, uh, I thought that I wanted you guys to be, to be with me on this one, because I, as I said, uh, I'm pretty sure that one of these mirrors has a left-hand thread and uh, I'm not sure which one but I I think it would make sense that the right hand side mirror this one will be the the uh, the left thread so in order for me to tighten this I need to go left and in order for me to loosen it I need to go right so it's not righty tidy it's righty loosey so I think I'll just try it for It was. Now I'm able to to counter counter screw this. This goes into the into the fitting, and uh, I will lock the mirror with this one. Let me find the other mirror. Okay, here's the other mirror, which is the left-hand side mirror, and I'm pretty sure that this is a stand-up thread, which, which means righty-tidy, lefty-loosey. So let me just try this out. No? Hmm. Maybe not. This is also a left-hand thread. Interesting. Hmm. So both these mirrors both mirrors are left-hand thread. So remember that guys, these are lefties. This is a standard thread, so The mirror flip is done. Took a trip on the bike because it is actually very hard knowing what to look at when you're in your garage. So in order to be sure that the road was visible the next time I'm going for a ride, I went and took a small ride right now. And I brought my eight millimeter wrench and my 14 millimeter wrench. Um, and I adjusted it along the way making sure that I can see what I want to see and making sure that the handlebar can go all the way on each on each side without hitting. So and and I think the look of the bike has improved with the with the mirror flip, don't you? So, 